Hello, this is David Benayim from Excel Consulting and today I'm going to show you how to use Excel's PowerView. So PowerView is a kind of a unique thing. It's a new type of canvas that you can create on an Excel sheet that's different to the normal Excel sheets that you might be used to, which has this kind of grid system, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. PowerView is a canvas to create visuals. So you need to enable it. It only is available if you have um, Excel Professional or Pro Plus, and that's 2013, 16, 19, or Office 365. Uh, to enable it, go to File, Options, it's grayed out for some reason, and then, oh, probably because I'm here, File, yeah, Options, Add-ins, and then you need to navigate to Com Add-ins, get Power View, go, tick the box that is Power View, and then press OK. Then you'll see it in the Insert tab over here in the middle, Power View. Power View grabs data from your data model. So if you're using Power Pivot to get your data, you can get it from many sheets. It's basically able to aggregate and create pivot table-like things without creating the pivot table and only creating the visuals. So you have two new tabs. Uh, you have the Power View tab. And sometimes you have another tab, yeah, design and layout. So <laughs> it is a bit buggy. Yeah, these three tabs. Uh, I will also say that Microsoft um, kind of discontinued progressing Power View because it was the predecessor to Power BI, which is a separate application. Power BI is a lot better and a lot easier to use. And they update Power BI all the time, but they don't update Power View very much. But what it can do is supposed to be kind of similar. So let's say we want to create a new visual. I want to see like country by customers. Here is like a pivot table. And I can change the table to what it calls a matrix. Um, if I add gender there, this is a table where you have just country, customers, gender, a matrix. Is it showing like that? Or it's kind of like a pivot table. I can drag gender into columns like that and get the gender looking here. Uh, all of these things are kind of interactive. So you can click on multiple things like this, and then it will show data only based on what you click on. So as you can see, it's only showing me female if I clicked on that. If I only click on France, then this shrinks and this only shows me France like that. So it's a visual canvas, another idea that Power BI uses a lot of. Uh, but things that you can't do in Excel definitely feature here. So you can create this kind of map chart that has these pie charts here. I'll create it for you here. So I'm going to grab country and customers like that. And then I can click on map. And it puts these kind of green arrow, green circles around my countries. You can, if you want, change the map background or do a few other things. And if I drag gender into, into categories, then I'll be able to get that data showing me there. Yeah, there we go, color. So there I can see it there. You can also use latitude, longitude pairs if you have those instead. Which is different to the main Excel map charts. Uh, you can also, well, let me recreate this for you with the same data. So country, customers, and gender. So I'm going to make it into a bar chart. And this is the normal kind of Excel bar chart, but you have other options which actually don't exist in Power BI. <laughs> so I can drag gender into tile by, and I can have here customers by country either as male or female. Okay. 
It is a bit buggy, as I said. Okay, let's try again. Go country, gender, customers, and create a bar chart there. Make it bigger. So, well, you can do this. You can go into multiple multiples, and you can have here like that. So one column for female, one column for male. This is quite cool. You can't do this with Power BI, but you can drag it into tile by, and then it shows you essentially, or it should show you the bar chart of that thing as well. But it's not quite working this time. Yeah, give it a title, change some other things, add pictures and text boxes. Um, you can also create new visuals based on uh, something called a card, which is again a similar thing in Power BI. There we go. So you can change it to tiles and cards over here. Uh, you can look those up on Power BI. It's again a little bit better there than here. But if you want to create um, Excel visuals using Power View, this is how you do it. Particularly for the maps, it's quite cool. The maps works quite well. I quite like those. All right, thanks for watching.